see what different types of tables that you can have in your SLR paper. And you will see one thing that any good SLR paper has is a lot of figures and a lot of tables because it helps to convey the information in a much better format. So this paper here shows examples of different research questions that they have put it in a, in a table. And here you would see it, it is the uh, papers that were existing papers, right? So these papers, this is what they tried to, this is what their research questions were. And this could be helping help you in formulating your research questions. So if you remember earlier, we when we talked about um, how, how to write the introduction and frame the research questions. We did review existing systematic literature review studies and what was covered in those studies. Uh, so this is an example of how you can use a, a table of this format to either uh, show the primary uh, prior literature uh, studies and what their contributions or the research uh, questions were. Or uh, uh, this is another example that they have uh, short sure. yes it is probably the research uh, themes that they have in the methodology page. section if you want to put a table this is an example of that here keywords were searched how many results you got from those keywords how many of the abstracts were read did you download the full text to make a judgment whether the paper should be included or excluded so this is another table that you can come up with in your in your paper quality assessment here you can go to the extent of showing quality assessment that was done for each individual article. So you can see Q1 to Q5 uh, and how many of them they selected and so on. So each paper that was uh, chosen. So here you can see SL1, SL2, 3, 4. These are the numbers that they have given to their paper. And this is the, the citation. Okay, so there is a difference here. Yeah, so there could be a list of SL1, SL2, which is the list of all the papers, paper one, paper two, paper three and these are the citations for that particular paper. Again, quality uh, assessment, quality, they call it, calling it here quality evaluation criteria, QE1 to QE5, different scores for different quality indicators. Uh, and they also have shown the number of years here. Okay, data extraction. So an example of a data extraction table here, you can see the references here, probably number of citations I, I, again, I guess where it was searched from google scholar okay. participants who are the participants in the study students random participants mostly students or non-students what device was used for their study what interface desktop what results they got what did they measure what was the scenario for the setup what tasks were the students given which language was used how was the information presented so this these all attributes here or data items are related to this particular paper which is on uh, web search engines or search engines uh, so these are specific to them so you like in your case you will have something different here and you will be collecting that information illustration of applications so decision making is identified as a problem processing real-time detection developing emergency related platforms so these are specific areas that they have captured which studies have addressed these areas and they have shown some sample quotes from some papers uh, which may be uh, supporting what they are trying supporting their argument SLR. another data extraction table um, ITS intelligent tutoring system this is the name of the tutoring system or in your case it could be the research paper the reference citation this paper helps to answer which research question all the five research questions or only some you can see some of them are there type of article where it was published which year it was uh, published some statistical information study characteristics is an important table that you normally should include in your slr and uh, here you can see what they have done and there is an example of a conceptual theoretical framework that they have mentioned here so this paper is a journal article with a J here. It does not mention any theoretical framework or conceptual framework or any theories. This study was done in United States. Sample size was 34. Definition of peer coaching. This is a concept for, uh, related to this paper. Perhaps measures or like what I said, uh, methodology. So here it was uh, open-ended surveys, observations, journals, lesson plan, interviews. The design was qualitative because we can see what aspect of qualitative study was 
uh, used in this and what were their major findings you may find that when you're doing a table like this especially the findings part uh, if there are multiple findings uh, that are reported in the publication uh, which one to choose yeah one option is you can list all of them then but then the table does not look very nice in that case see which is the most relevant uh, finding that aligns with the research question that you have for your SLR and report that. This is again another table you can see here, what type of study was performed, what type of studies performed, uh, and the references that were, I mean, these are the references that did this type of study. So that is another thing you could do in your SLR. Study characteristics, again, uh, what you can see here, conceptual framework, participants and demographics, method patterns or trends recommendations recommendations is in, uh, is uh, similar to what i had suggested in the that you think about the limitations and then think about how these limitations can be aligned drive the research agenda for future research work you know so that is the next uh, what i want to well, the reason i have these all these different uh, tables here is to show you the possibilities of what all can be incorporated in your paper it's not that you have to incorporate everything but this will give you an idea of what is possible or what others have done in the past. It may be that you can even combine these tables into one or you can split these tables into two or many. It's all up to you. I mean, it is basically thinking of the best way to represent or to present your research findings in your SLR paper. Characteristics of included studies, quantitative and qualitative. So here for quantitative studies, they have designed this table. Similarly, they could have done another table they would have another table for qualitative studies. So these elements or data items now relate only to quantitative studies. So similarly, you could talk about qualitative studies, table for qualitative studies. What does this table talk about? Domain of interest, highlights, so application areas, the reference, focus of analysis, so what has been their main interest or focus area, what were the highlights of this specific approach and what are the challenges and future directions. Future directions is shown using a D, and challenges is shown using a C. So if you want to incorporate multiple uh, two or three or two different uh, elements in one table, I think this is a good idea that uh, that you can apply as well. So like that, I have got many examples. So I would suggest uh, you all to uh, have a look at uh, these tables because that will help you to frame or structure your structure your SLR going forward. You know, and especially identifying the themes and the sub themes would be very important in this because that is how you will first, because the, the, if you think about the step, you know, the first step is to design these tables. And the second step is to write about uh, what you have captured in the table. So once you have the table ready, it is a kind of a structure that you can follow for the writing bit. Okay, so the focus should be on getting the tables done first. So that is why we extract the data, put it in the tables, and then writing becomes much more easier.